I'm sure y'all seen on TV, there's a hurricane headed right towards us tomorrow. I saw it on the news this morning. We're right in the path of it. Cat 5, one of the worst hurricanes in the history of the United States. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one. It's gonna be a bad boy. It's gonna be a big bad boy. I'm telling you right now, it's gonna tear some stuff up, okay? Now, what's that mean for us? So what about work? What are we doing? Are we open? Well, you're going to have to leave for work a couple hours early to get here on time. Okay, there's going to be power lines down. There's going to be flooded roads. There's going to be trees. You know, you're going to have to figure out how to get your car parked on, on an elevated surface so you got a car to drive. It's going to be bad. So you want to, so okay. hold on. Now, how much do you think this job is worth? I'm just curious right now. This is a serious meeting, and I don't want to deal with your crap today. So no questions. All right, thank you. First and foremost, we want y'all to stay safe. It's very important. Stay safe. Okay, we care about y'all. So y'all leave a couple of hours early, and you won't have to rush, and you won't have to drive dangerously to get here on time. Okay? Do you think you're the only employer out there? Now, some of y'all live in low elevations. I understand that. And it's your fault. Okay, you're just stupid when you bought your house where you did, okay? That's not, you know, we understand. We are opening up the back of the warehouse tonight. We got plenty of cots. And y'all, if y'all want to stay here tonight so you're on time tomorrow, you can. We'll just take $50 out of your check next week for the, the lights and stuff like that. So you'll open up the place for us if we need to, but you're going to charge us. You're going to deduct, okay. But... Cheaper than any hotel room, it's 50 bucks. You can bring your whole family if you need to, but they do have to leave at seven o'clock in the morning, okay? Cause we gotta get to work. Where is our family supposed to go at seven o'clock in the morning? Everything's flooded. Y'all work that out, but you do have somewhere to go. Now if we don't have power, which we probably won't, what are we gonna do? Well, if we don't have power and the plant's not running, you're not getting paid cause you're not really working. But what I need y'all to do, it's called an investment. And I can spell it for you if you need to uh, put it in your little Google there and look it up and see what the hell that word means. Because no, you don't know what the hell it means. Investment. N-V-E-S-T-M-I-N-T. -E investment. Look it up. Look it up. So y'all going to have to donate a little bit of your time to your company. Right? And we're going to get this place back to square one after the hurricane tears it up so y'all can have a place of business to work at and make money in the future, All right? So it may take a couple days, a week, whatever, but just think about it like an investment, all right? Because without the place, if we don't get it back to square one, ain't nobody got jobs, right? We need jobs, don't we? All right, don't we? Don't we? All right? Do you want us to come up here and be on time work for free to rebuild the plant so we can keep our jobs. That's what we're going to do. We're going to show up. We're going to be on time. Now, even though you're not working and you're not getting paid, I, I, mean, I need to stress this, very important, you can still be fired. I guarantee you that. So don't show up late. <laughs> so y'all need to make arrangements tonight on how you're going to get here on time tomorrow. It's going to be bad, okay? I'm not coming in tomorrow, Bubba. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to call out. I'm not putting in vacation. I'm just not going to be here. And I'm not going to talk to anybody. Because I feel like everyone should know, oh, there was a Cat 5 hurricane hit. He's probably, probably where he's at. I'm not, I'm not going to. No one's going to hear from me tomorrow, but I'm not going to be here. Hopefully, I'll be at home. I don't know. I might be out in the middle of a kayak floating down the river. I don't know, but I ain't going to be here tomorrow. Well, what are you going to do at home? What are you going to do at home? Sit there with no power, not make money, right? Well, you can come here, even if we got no power, and be with your family, your work family. It really, is the most important family, you know, I mean, honestly. You see us more than your family, family. So, I mean, <laughs> I feel like we're number one. Tell you what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just go on home right now so I can get prepared for the hurricane coming tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see y'all 
whenever the hell I can get through. I'm not going out of my way. If if the road if there's if there's three inches of water on my road. Nope. Not travelable. If I ain't got power, I'm just going to ignore it, all comments and questions from the peons because I ain't got time for that. We got a hurricane coming our way. If a twig blows off a pine tree and lands in my driveway, I'm not coming to work. I'm guaranteeing that. Get out of here. Okay. All right. Y'all stay safe. All right. It's going to be a doozy. I'll see y'all in the morning. Yeah, I'm going home right now.